Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today we are going to react to a Mario Duplantier drum solo, okay? So it's going to be a pretty, pretty hard one, but we are going to react in a different way. Last week I uploaded a video reacting to myself, and on that video I was explaining everything that I could about the drum beats that I was playing. And apparently the video was very, very successful. You've got the link right here, just in case you have not watched it yet. So for this this video we are going to do the exact same thing however there is a huge difference I have never ever listened to this drum solo before and I'm going to try my best to explain everything that I can in fact I'm even going to try to play some of the parts that Mario is playing in order for you to understand the whole process however I don't even know if that's going to be possible because as I told you this is a first time reaction so please don't be hard on me I'm just going to try my best and we are definitely going to have fun together so with all of that being said let's go with the video Okay, now we are fucked. I thought I was going to explain a simple solo on a 4-4 time signature, but apparently I'm not. Now we have a huge problem because as many of you already know, I only know how to play drums. I know nothing about music, I cannot write, and of course I cannot read. So here I'm just going to try to play everything just by hearing it, because this is definitely not a 4-4. Or maybe to be honest, it is, I got no fucking idea. So, let's check it out. Now, this is obviously a blah blah blah. I thought it was a 7, but apparently it's not. Or maybe it is, I got no idea again. But we can count everything and play everything, so it goes like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And again, and again, and again. Okay, it seems like a really odd time signature. Let's try it out. Okay, and now we got the bass drum going on as well, so it should sound like this. I'm not sure if I played everything right, but I think I did. It's just one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And not respecting anything. Just keep going. It doesn't matter which time signature you're in. Okay, let's keep going with this and let's see what happens. Okay, that was a very, very fucked up groove, right? But I think I can play something out of that because the same pattern or at least something very similar keeps happening here. One thing that I really like is the use of that cowbell. I have my cowbell right here. What a coincidence. No, for real. I've been playing with a cowbell here for a long time. So this is really good. Now I can play that kind of stuff. Let's see what's going on. I think I understand something out of that. Okay, we got a pattern going on, the bass drum is still going, we've got a cowbell and the left hand is playing all the toms, I got no toms, so I'm going to play everything with my floor tom, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. 
I think it's something like this. Again, I'm not sure. I'm not going to play exactly what he's playing, but I'm just trying to understand and explain what's happening. It's something like that, definitely. Let's try it out faster. Man, endurance, that's the word. It's fucked up. Again, Mario, this is fucked up. For real, I'm tired already. Let's see what happens. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Again, that leak. Let's explain everything. Okay, we can do that. I think those are singles, right? So it would be something like this. I love it. It sounds great. Single strokes and just accents with the cowbell and the bass drum. Looks great, sounds great, so let's keep going with this. Nice, okay. Okay, let's just stop the madness right here because that's going to take some time. We go back to the same groove that we were playing in the beginning, but instead of bass drum and hi-hat, now we are playing all the notes with our double pedal, okay? So it's basically the same beat, but we've got the background of the bass drum going on again and again as an ostinato. Let's see how that would sound. Okay, it looks similar, but again, I'm very tired and we are not even halfway there. So man, endurance, this guy is a fucking power horse. Let's see now what the fuck was that. Now he's playing something very, very weird, very fast. Let's see if we are able to read what's happening in there, because I'm pretty sure that if we dedicate ourselves, we can. Let's focus, team. Now, it's definitely not that sticking, but the accents are the same. Okay, so let's play this very, very slow just in case anyone wants to read it or play it. So it goes apparently something like this. Again, this is not the original sticking. It's something similar. I'm going to be doing that during all the solo, right? So please just enjoy this fucking video. It's something like this. Now, let's just stop right here. This is just a cheap imitation of the original sticking, right? So that's way, way harder because everything that I'm explaining right here is orchestrated around a bigger kit with a lot of flavor. And that's very, very hard to do. He was playing all the toms. The sticking may be or may not be the same, but he was orchestrating it like a fucking magician. His left hand was playing all the toms. He was even playing the hi-hat during that bit so that is very very hard and very difficult and i'm pretty sure that this is going to be one of the hardest parts of the whole solo so let's keep watching okay a lot of different things right we've got doubles on the snare right bass roll or whatever you want to call it <laughs> that 
That's it. Let's keep going. Okay, those are singles. The hard thing about that would be to orchestrate everything without missing one single note all over the drum kit. That's why I don't have a big drum kit. Pain in the ass, only floor, tom and snare drum, so it's just single strokes. The important thing here is that those are just single strokes and now... That right there, it was a six stroke roll, the right accent was played on the floor tom, the left accent was played on the tom number two, I don't have that tom so I can play that as a rim shot on the snare drum or maybe on the cowbell, but it goes like this. That's why you need to study all the rudiments because they are very handy whenever it comes down to soloing so that was definitely a six stroke roll let's see what comes now Those are the John Bonham triplets and the sticking is not being alternated. He's orchestrating it around the kit. The first option would be right left kick, left right kick. However, in order to make it sound way more powerful, he's using right left kick all the way and that way he's also applying crossovers and he's not missing one single note and I can guarantee you that is a very very hard thing to do. However, the sticking would be this. And now the hard thing to do would be to orchestrate it with taste all over the drum kit, which I'm not able to do right now because that requires a lot of practice, but that's a perfect job right there. Let's keep going. Those were a lot of different roles, right? However, I'm just going to explain one because the other ones were apparently single strokes, but the one that caught my attention the most was this spicy and beautiful crossover with the hi-hat, snare drum and floor tom, and I think it was a four hands, two feet kind of feel, right? So it would be like right left, right left, kick, kick with the double pedal, or maybe he's playing it with just one feet. I just don't see it from here, but it would be something like this. Check this out. It definitely was something like that and the rest of it crazy groupings of singles orchestrated perfectly without missing one note. Again, this guy's a genius, unbeatable Mario, let's keep going. Apparently those were two kinds of different blast beats, the first one seemed to be like a triplet, it was something like this, one, two, three, four. And the second one was way faster, again the hard thing about this would be to orchestrate the left hand leading all over the toms, I'm just going to play it on my floor tom so what I'm doing is way easier, but the second kind of blast beat was a classic blast beat and it would sound like this. Ah! That was just fucking unbelievable, let's keep going. That's hard. It's actually a 
pretty fucking unbelievably good exercise for you to practice. Keeping the time with your right hand on this cymbal, maybe you want to play that open-handed, so you may want to change the leading to your left hand and play everything on the hi-hat so you can orchestrate everything better with your right hand. It consists on triplets. We have two notes going on with our feet and we've got one note going on with our left hand in this case. So the pattern would go like this. played faster. And now all that's left for you to do would be to add the leading hand, okay? On this case, we are going to be using the right symbol. And as I said before, you can play this open-handed if you want to. Anyway, it's going to sound crazy. It's a pretty hard exercise to pull off, especially if you're leading with your right hand on the right cymbal like he's doing. It's way more complicated to orchestrate everything with your left hand because obviously it is your left hand. But however, there you've got the exercise. Practice it and let's keep going. I would love to play that groove, but to be honest, I just don't know what the fuck he's doing. I would love to say that I do, but I would be lying. I got no idea about what the fuck is going on in there. So my only comment right now is going to be bravo, de puta madre. That was crazy, but for real, I got no idea what he just did. I just know that he did it and it sounded unbelievable. Let's keep going. That was fast. I mean, it was the same group that we were listening to in the first part, the version with the double bass, but apparently the last thing he wanted to do in order to close the solo was to keep speeding up again and again and again. I don't even know in which tempo he was playing everything in the end, but that was fast as fuck. So, you know, the initial beat with the cowbell and everything and just playing it faster and faster and faster and faster. Man, that was unbelievable. He does not look tired and that's especially one of the the things that I love about Mario, his endurance is just unbelievable. It's not just about cardio, right? It's also about technique. You must have an unbelievable amount of technique in order to be able to play like that. He's good. He has practiced a lot. He has a flawless technique. He's playing this kind of killer, crazy beats that require a lot of stamina and endurance, and he's doing it like nothing. The orchestrations that he was pulling off were fucking unbelievable and he was not missing one single hit so the first thing that i gotta say the skills that mario has composing are unbelievable okay this drum solo right here is crazy you have a main idea with this crazy beat that keeps happening and then he's able to transform that idea into a whole fucking drum solo adding cowbells adding bass drums, adding patterns, adding hi-hats, and of course, orchestrating everything perfectly without missing one single fucking note. I mean, this guy definitely knows his vocabulary and has spent countless hours behind a drum kit. And that's something that you don't see often anymore because even though he's touring and working all day long, this guy keeps releasing drum solos each and every fucking year. And that means that when he comes back home from 
from touring, the first thing that he does is to practice again and again to create new songs, new concepts. And that, friends, that is very fucking important. And that's why he's one of the best to ever do it. So all my respect goes to Mario. This was an unbelievable masterpiece. And please don't forget that playing separate parts without even composing them is very fucking simple. The hard thing is to play everything tight together without missing, with all the orchestrations, and of course the hardest part of everything would be to create that, which I definitely would have not been able to do. Also, I wanted to take a second to say that I know Mario, we have talked a lot of different times, and I gotta say that he's not only one of the best drummers in the world right now, but also he's a very, very kind and good human being, and that's something that I need to say because for one, you can be an amazing drummer, but if you are an awful person, that does not mean shit. And Mario is very kind, he's always there for you, he has helped me so many times in the past and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful to know him. Mario, you're great man! Amazing drummer, amazing person. This guy is a fucking legend. If you like this video, please don't forget to write down in the comments who would you like me to react to next and I will try my fucking best in order to do exactly what I have just done. And of course, as always, you've got the link to all of my merch right here. You can check it out. You've got hats, hoodies, beanies, shirts, etc. And as always, I appreciate that you're here spending your evening with me. I hope you like this video as much as I fucking did. It's been an absolute honor and I really hope to see you all very very fucking soon on the next videos buddies stay safe and take care bye